If you look around cities nowadays, you will often see mothers with their kids. Sometimes they're fully grown children. And I use the term children to describe their personality. So, what ended up happening to the fathers? Where are they? And why are they going? Well, let's discuss that a little bit. I have some theories of from my own observations. I doubt it'll help anyone, but let's find out. A welfare state often rewards a person for how they're living. For example, if you make a low income, in most states they'll give you food stamps. Some states require you to work 20 hours a week. Others, not even that. When it comes to parenting, there's also a reward system. If there's no provider in the household, i.e. a father, it will give you a sort of allowance every month. This is not a good thing. This is not good for survival for a very good reason. You see, there's actually this study that I'm going to link down below that shows that Girls in houses, homes, I guess, without a father, not even a real parental figure, or really a uh, nuclear household, just a girl without a father is more likely to be sexually promiscuous, more likely to get pregnant at a young age. But what does this have to do with politics, Hal? Well, during World War II, and I am making this comparison, just follow me through, Germany had this idea of promoting the Aryan race, reward children for having children at a young age. Oftentimes, parents would grow angry with this, but they could actually have been arrested for standing against it. Now, we have the government nowadays promoting abortion, kind of a, quote, fallback. Say, hey, you can get pregnant, but you don't have to keep the child. In fact, you don't even have to give it to adoption. It's a... I guess a push, kind of say, you don't have to worry, we got your back, despite the fact it's not really having anyone's back. And more likely than not, these parents will go through with it, and the child will grow up without a father and see a government, although I guess it's not really seeing it, but hearing of a government providing all that they receive and thinking, you know what? This government can't be all that bad. It's definitely not a good thing. In fact, it leads to what we have now with growing governments. Population growth is uncontrolled and rather worrying as well, especially with fathers becoming less and less common, although with the next generation coming up in their 17 now? At the oldest, they're actually becoming more conservative, so maybe this will change, but going on. Now, as these parents start to panic because there's less and less money coming towards them because of how many there are that these taxes have to be divided among, they'll begin voting for more and more government, asking for more and more handouts. I'm reminded of a video, and I'm going to try and find it, but I make no promises that I will, of a woman whose food stamps were cut, and she was uh, screaming about, how is she going to eat? In my mind, I think, find a job, but in her mind, 
she thinks someone owes her for simply being alive. I'm reminded of a phrase, no one, nowhere owes you anything. Unfortunately, that's an idea that despite me trying to hammer it into people's brains, I don't think it's ever going to happen, or at least ever get through their thick skulls. Of course, it's not just leftists who want a control of government. For example, the rhinos also want control of government. And yeah, I have problems with the Republican Party as well, despite calling myself conservative. Now this is control of a culture, which I've already pointed out in an earlier video. Again, I'll try and link it if I can be bothered enough with that one, really. A government of authoritarian controls culture. A government of economics uh, is left or right. For example, right wing tends to be less economic control over the, or from the government, while left tends to be more control from the government over economics. Controlling the population is a culture thing. It controls breeding and raising. Now, these parents are new parents are asking for more and more government hands outs, and with that, they begin to step even further. Schools as well, how the children are taught. We now have schools all over the world run by governments teaching kids how to pray as though they were Muslim, which direction Mecca is in. Yada, yada, yada. Yet very few, I'm not saying there aren't any because I know there are some that actually do do this, but very few will teach of Christianity, Hinduism, Judaism, and really any other religion. They will teach of the Crusades, usually, but they usually won't tell the real story. They'll say it was just Christians attacking the Muslim-ruled Jerusalem, which is very inaccurate, as it was retaliation for Muslim invasion. This will lead to the cycle continuing, and people being more accepting of an invading people in their country. The assumption that not all are like this will be brought up regularly. Of course, they say only 10% of the Islamic states are supportive of terrorism. Keep in mind, only 7% of Germany during World War II were supportive of the Nazi party. It doesn't take much to get things rolling. All you gotta do is have the right breeze and the ball will fall. Of course, this is just the government's place and where the fathers are going. We also have the other side, the individual. Fathers are often being told that they're gonna be essentially enslaved when they become fathers. Movies, television, all that are making fun of people who become parents. There are very few who don't do that. Even look at your comedies. You see it. For example, The Simpsons. You see Homer, and he's made fun of for being a father. He's pointed out as being an idiot. And he's also working constantly in a nuclear facility in order to pay for his family where his wife does not work. His kids don't appreciate what he does. That can turn people away very easily, unfortunately, just because of television. Miss Anonymous is actually doing something that I very much approve of. She's making another channel to try and bring some 
opening up to men around the world, or I guess rather English-speaking nations, to show them it's not all bad. I'm looking forward to this uh, channel opening up, and I'll probably end up doing something to help out if I can. When it does come up, I want to see the subject of fathers being brought up. I want to see more fathers in the house. I'm hoping there will be more fathers, as a nuclear household will show people, children, how to act, whether they are women being taught how men are supposed to act or how to treat men, or boys being taught how to act, how to be a man. Most of the adult population nowadays, including those that used to live in this house, aren't grown up, I guess would be the right term. They are adults, but they act like children. And that's because they don't see the father figure as their father. So they became their own fathers that they do not, or that they hate with all their being. Unfortunately, that happens far too often, and it really needs to be stopped. My best advice would be to talk with your friends. Actually get to know them, and if something happens, help them out. Even if they can't be in the house with the children, S help them stay involved with the children. It's really all you can ask for, and hopefully that'll be enough to get the ball rolling downhill.